everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss what's to come. So today we're going to do a fall lantern DIY from the Dollar Tree. It's really easy and really simple and it's an amazing way to do a fall decor that doesn't break the bank. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to get these long picture frames. They only sell them in this type where they come with different pictures inside. But this would be the right size. So make sure you get them. It does not tell me what size they are. But it is wall art. So first thing we're going to do is open up all our frames. Okay, so after we open up all our frames, we're going to end up taking the picture out. We're going to keep the glass and we're going to get rid of the back. Me personally, I try to pick ones that I like because I'll figure out a way to reuse them. So what we're going to do now is take each tab and peel it back. Each one of these and peel it back. And that way the frame will open up. And you'll keep this. Keep this. And you can get rid of this. And you do that to all four frames. This one is cute. So cute. So I'm going to keep these and I'll find some way to use it. Even if it's at an event or something, I'll find a way to use it. So now, if you see my last video, you'll know that on our frames, they come with little tabs. We're going to pull those out. Try to pull them straight out so that you won't chip the frame that is in. So we'll do that now. And once you do that, you won't have any tabs on the frames. And you'll do that to all four frames. Guys. Okay, you guys. So, now that all of the bags are off the frames. All the tabs are off. Now, if you see my last video, we're going to glue the glass back inside of each frame with E6000 and hot glue. If you haven't seen my last video, you should check it out. So I'll link it down below. It's my glass baby blocks. They are amazing. So, what we'll do first is we'll take the E6000 and put it in each corner. A drop in each corner. And once you do that, we'll put our hot glue, a strip of hot glue on each side. So 
So if you didn't get to watch my last video and wonder why do I do that, it's just to give it security. So what the E6000 does is it secure it permanently and the hot glue gun glue secure it now. So this hold it now and the E6000 holds it forever. So you're going to do that and glue them all together, all four frames, just like that. Okay, so now after we got all our frames glued inside, like this, we'll have all four frames glued together. Ta -da. Okay, so now we're going to glue each one together, each frame. So I like to use E6000 and hot glue also to glue my frames together. Just give it a longer, and just give it more support, and it just helps it stay better. And I do one side at a time, alternate each side. So, and you want to make sure that each one is lined up evenly. And then you're going to hold it there until the glue set. I did choose gold frames just because I think it'll look nice with the oranges and the burlap. But you can choose any frame you wish. So once you glue your first side, you'll have this. Then you'll glue the next side down. alternating between hot glue and E6000. Hold it to dry. Okay, so now that we have our frames all glued together, we should have a square box, sort of like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of foam board. If you don't have one, then I did not list it in the description of supplies needed, but you will need to get that. Um, if you do have any leftover from our last project, then that's what you can use too, and that's what I'll be using. So I had a strip of foam board left over. I'm going to take it. What you got to do is you got to take the foam board and you're going to sit your box on top of it like this. And you take uh, any kind of pencil. I'm going to use a cutting pencil and you just trace along the outside and this is going to be your base just 
just make sure you hold your box still so that you get the right shape. You have so once you have it traced out in a square, as I was saying, you're gonna take your exacto knife like we did in the last video, and you're just gonna follow the lines you traced with your exacto knife and cut out your square. So, once you're done, you're going to glue your foam base. You can glue it to the top because either way, the top can be the bottom, the bottom can be the top. So, you just apply hot glue. And you don't really need E6000 for this because the foam will stick well. This is just to give it that extra support that it needs. And to put a base on the box. So my box is over the edge a little bit. So I'm going to flip it over. And take my X-Acto knife. And I'm just going to run it along the edge to take that excess off. And the excess I see. That's why I say it's best to cut more than less. You can always take that off. So now, now we have our base done. You will want to do that first because we're going to add the top, and once you add the top, it'll be harder to add the base. So make sure you're doing that step. Okay. So to create the top of your lantern. You're going to take your fifth frame and you're going to break it apart. Being that the frame is longer on one side than it is on the other, we were going to use them to make the top. But you would need to cut these into equal pieces. So you'll take the same pliers that we use to pull out the prong pieces and you're going to line it up and you're going to cut and it's going to give us not as clean of a cut but that part don't matter. Also you don't want to take the metal hooks out. And you'll do that to all your pieces. And then you'll line it up. Just gives it a clean cut, just like that.
Okay, you guys, I'm back. So, I, um, since I chose the gold frame, and I wanted to do the top of my lantern, the black show. So, I had to spray them with spray paint. So, I'm going to let them dry, and then we can just go ahead and do the inside of our lantern. So, I'm going to take this ribbon I got from the Dollar Tree. Isn't it gorgeous? Amazingly beautiful. And I'm going to just go around the base of my lantern. I'm just going to hot glue it to the base. Just around the bottom. Just like that. So that way, it'll kind of hide where I have placed the... um. the white foam board maybe kind of discreet and also it just gives them a little glam sorry about the fan I'm inside I'm not outside so I'm trying to dry my um top pieces as fast as possible so trying to just blow them off a little bit and I guess I'm just going to glue each each corner down with some hot glue You guys be very careful, especially if you got a high temp, high high glue gun, because this ribbon here is going through and it's really hot. So just try to be as careful as possible. I'm gonna glue this all the way around the base of your lantern. And there we are. Okay. Now once that's glued on, I'm going to start building around my candle. I was thinking, should I put the glitter around it? Okay, you guys, I'm back. So what happened was um, the candle that I bought, it was hooked to this and if I take it off, I won't be able 
to use it. I guess it's a display candle. So I had to rig it up a little bit to keep it lined up. And I also had to alter the way I'm going to do my box. So I grabbed a foam, a piece of foam, a styrofoam. So if you ever run into this problem, you can do it the same way. So I grabbed a piece of foam and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this candle to this base here. Anyway, I can. It's just no, I don't know if it's gonna work, but it can't work without this base. So I'm gonna have to try to make it work the best I can. So I'm gonna glue this to this like that. And let it dry. Then I'm gonna stick my fall leaves inside the foam base. So it's trying to leave kind of like floral foam. And, and that's what I'm going to decorate. So, I'm going to just start sticking my leaves in right here. Try to kind of hide this the best way I can. So now I'm going to stick my foam base inside here. And kind of where it's showing, I'm just going to add in my burlap pump. And now let's work on the top because my tops are dry. So I spray paint, I had it one side and then I spray paint the other side go. That way it doesn't stop, show the black. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hot glue gun and you're going to put a dab of glue at the corners. And also your E6000, mine fell on the floor. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna hold it down. To your hot glue dry. It's gonna take a while. Then you put your other hot glue here. And then you do the same here at the top.
Okay, so while the top dry, I move on to the candle holders. So for the top, we're going to go back to our ribbon. And we're going to take our mason jar. So this is very simple. All we're going to do is take this part. We're going to keep that and this. And we're going to get rid of this. I don't know. It's probably cute if it's gold on the bottom. But we can't get the paper off. So, so all we're gonna do for that is we're gonna take our ribbon and we're gonna glue it on base. Oh, so I have another order that I wanted to show you guys. One of my babies. So, he is so adorable. I'll show you in a moment. He's being shipped out on the 12th. Well, I have a few of them. But they're the ones that are finished. I also have a little box of baby from the next. Hopefully I'll be doing a DIY during that time and I can show you guys him. Because I know he's going to be cute. He's new for me. So I never did him before. And there you have it. Okay, you guys. So now that we did our ribbon around it. So now we'll take our candles that we got from the dollar store. And we'll just Sit them at the bottom. You will need like the lighter that has a long thing to match it or a long match. Then you take the lid without. So while we're waiting for the top of that to dry so we can finish, I'll show you my baby. So not glued to his base, but he is cute. He comes with a baby bottle. A bling bottle. I don't know if you guys can see him very well, but I'll scoot back a little bit. And his, this will be glued to the base. He looks like that. It's four of these in this shipment. Global thing. Are they cute? But he's not glued down yet because he's going to be shipped out in pieces. So see, it's coming apart. He shipped just like this. I know they're gonna love him because I love him so much. He's so cute. So okay, so back to our lantern. The last part we have to do is hang our sign. So once this is dry, you'll take this piece you bought from the Dollar Tree. It comes in three pieces. We're going to only use one. So you'll just bend back the black metal piece here. Bend it back because I don't like how it ends up lined up with the bar. I'm going to try to make it longer so that it hangs out farther. I'm not going to use this one. 
I'm actually going to use this one. If you like the the hay leaf on there, you can always, the one with this on there, you can always just peel it off and glue it. Use your hot glue gun. And I'm going to glue it to the bottom. So I'm going to take it off of that one because trying out, I do want the one with the chain on it. Because that one is too high up. You don't want it to kind of dangle down. So you got to take this one. And this one will be the middle one. Take this one. And I'm going to just glue. Because I like this piece. You don't have to have this piece. But I like it. I'm going to glue it, glue it at the bottom of here. Like this. So just take my hot glue. And just glue it at the bottom. Then you're going to take the wire from the last one. You're just going to stretch it out. So, let's see. Let's measure it how long it should be. I would want it to to measure it. Go ahead and hang it on here. So, just I'll show you how to do it. So, you got two loops here from the last one. You're going to close that one. Then you gotta take this piece and just loop it inside there and then twist it. So now you have a dangle. Okay, once you do that, you just stick it inside here to kind of measure how far you want it to hang down. I think that's good. I think that's how I'm going to bend it to the middle and then bend the wire around it. This top piece. And that way I can see it though. I don't like it because it twirls a little. Alright. And that's how it is when the lights off. Alrighty. So that's my fall lantern DIY. Ran a little bumps in the road, but I think it turned out okay. I'll just set up some pictures so you guys can see a few still shots. If you would like to see my last DIY, I will link it below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, I do have a Facebook page. I also put a link there if you do try any of my um, DIYs. I would love to see some photos and you can post them there. Um, and yeah, have a great one. Also, you could add more flowers or anything like that. It's actually 2 o'clock in the morning and I am DIYing because it's what I love to do. But I only have the things that I purchased today. And so I wanted to do this and ended up running into anything. So little things. So if I was you guys, I'd get a little bit more flowers. Um, the top piece is very, very difficult to do. Just stay patient and keep trying. And I'm sure it's going to work out for you guys. It wasn't easy for me. And I don't think it'll be easy for anyone else. But if you keep working at it, it'll work out. Um, thank you for view looking at my video and don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a great one.